guys, welcome to a Tech Gamer 180 video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Too Many Items mod. I'm going to be showing you how to install this using Forge, and this is the latest Forge that I've got here, the 1.8 version. I am going to basically keep updating the title of this video until the video needs updating. So what I mean by that is the title still says the version that you're on, then it will still work doing the same install as what you're going to do now. So before we start, we are going to need a couple of files. One, the Forge installer, and then the next, the Forge Too Many Items mod. So to get these, what you're going to do is come over to the links in the description. The top one will be the Forge and then the next one will be the Too Many Items. And then what you're going to do is look for the version that you want. So because I want a 1.8 version, I found it here. And the one that I'm going to use is recommended. And all you do when you found your version is click on the installer. Because we are doing this on a Mac, make sure you just click the installer, not the installer-win because that is a Windows one. So all we want is just the plain installer and once you press that, it will start the, the download. And then the next once you've got Forge is you're going to need the Too Many Items mod for Forge. So as you can see, it's right at the top, download TMI for Minecraft 1.8 Forge mod. And all you do is just press on that, skip the, skip the AdFly ad and then download that. So now that you've actually got the two files, what we're going to do is be running the .jar and then installing the Too Many Items after we've installed Forge. There is one thing to note before you start to run the Forge installer is because I want to mod the version 1.8 I am going to have to have installed the a vanilla copy of the 1.8 using the official Minecraft client. So to do this all I do is press edit profile uh, or make a new profile your choice. I'm just going to press edit then name it whatever you like, it doesn't really matter, and then go down to the release, the use version drop down, and then select release 1.8 or release the version that you're going to start modding. Then click save profile, and then just press the play button, and what this will do is it will start to download all of the, the versions, .jars and everything you need to actually run the Forge installer. All you're going to do is basically just let this boot up onto the Minecraft menu screen and then just exit off it once it's booted up fully. So as you can see now, mine's fully booted up. All I'm going to do now is press the X and now I can just start the Forge installer. There's one thing I do want to mention, basically if I believe you're, you're below the versions of Maverick, I believe you will get a message when you try and open this file that won't allow you to open it. So if you do get a message, they're unknown sources and it won't give you an option to open it, all you're going to do is click right click and just open it this way. But it's not going to display it for me because this is the second time I'm running this, so I'm just going to just double click on the .jar. So now that the Minecraft Forge installer is, is open, all you're going to do is make sure that the option is selected for install client. If you're on a server, then you can select this option and install it for a server. But because we want a client, we're just going to press OK. And now as you can see, it is downloading and installing all the of the Forge mod files for you. It does take a little bit of time, so I will speed it up in video time. And yeah, see you back when it's installed. So as you can see now it's successfully installed the Forge so all I'm going to do now to this is press OK. Now before you install the Too Many Items mod you are going to have to open up Minecraft once again. Now that you've opened the Minecraft launcher once again what you're going to do is go down to the drop down list down here and basically look for Forge. There should be one called Forge and here it is and just select that. All you have to do once you've selected it on the profile list is press play and just wait for this to boot up. So. As you can see, just to confirm that Forge has definitely installed correctly, as you can see, you get a load of details about the version of Forge. And also, also if you look on the menu, you have another selection called Mods. So this is when you know Forge has definitely installed and you're ready to install too many items. So now what I'm going to do is just close this down because you're not going to need this for a second. And now we can more or less delete the installer because you don't need it anymore. And now what we're going to do is install the too many items into the mod folder for Minecraft. 
To do this, what you're going to do is come up to the top here and then press go and then go to home. Then once you're on the home folder, what you're going to do is if you don't see a folder called library, what you am going to do is go on to show view options and then come down to the option called show library folder and just make sure that is selected and now as you can see you will get a new folder called library then once you're in the library folder all you're going to do is look for a folder called application support and here it is and then in the application support folder you are going to look for a folder called minecraft so here it is as you can see in the minecraft folder is a bunch of folders you may not have as many as me because i have a load of hack clients installed so you might not have as many folders if you want to know how to actually install a hack client on mac windows and everything i will leave the annotations above or in the description so you can learn how to install one of them just for the purposes of the video the folder that we're looking for is called mods and as you can see here there's a folder right here called mods and all you do is double click on that and drag it to one side then all you do is just drag the .jar file into there and that is pretty much too many items installed just to check that too many items is installed correctly all you're going to do is boot up minecraft once again and then once your minecraft launcher has opened make sure your profile is on forge once again because that's where your mods are basically now this is a profile where all your mods are going to be installed then all you do is press on play and wait for the minecraft to fully boot up and as you can see just to confirm that too many items has installed as you can see i have it here too many items just to prove that it's fully working i'm just going to open up a new world so as you can see while i slowly fall to my death if i press e as you can see i have the too many items mod installed and it's all fully working so yeah guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and also comment on the video and also subscribe so yeah guys thanks for watching yeah tech gamer tech gamer unboxing reviews and an entertainer with tutorials and gameplay he's a technological guy going all the way with frequent videos always coming out click that subscribe button to see what he is all about like the video share it with your friends drop a comment below where you can vent what you love and what you want to see next time so tune in every week for the next time i hope to see you around thanks for watching tech gamer on the rise never stopping